Hello, I'm Jay. I'm serving as a Senior Director of Engineering at Infusif Technologies. Today, I would like to show you a demo of an asset tracking application that we have built using Bluetooth Low Energy Technology using our IoT platform. So here, uh, this is the first uh, device I would like to show you. So this is a standard Raspberry Pi. It's available for $35. And um, so this is running our custom software that serves as a gateway which collects all the Bluetooth um, based devices or assets that are there in a room and then sends it to our cloud based IoT platform. So you'll have typically one of these devices per room. So I've just um, arbitrarily named this as room four. And this also, this device is also pre configured with this particular room uh, for information. And I have one more of this device which is, I'm calling this room six. So this is the same device. It's, it just runs uh, based on um, electricity here that's connected to a socket and uh, it just uses the Wi-Fi of the uh, room. So I'm gonna um, separate this to pretend that uh, these are in two different rooms for now. Typically they'll be far apart, but since for the purpose of this demo, I'm just um, keeping them in the same location so that it's easier to show the demo in this video. And what you see in this uh, computer screen is a projection of my uh, mobile phone screen so that you can see things happening a little bigger. So now I'm uh, going to show you this asset manager application that we also have developed. And so this is the app asset uh, manager dashboard that the end users will use to track where all their assets are. As you can see, initially it's just blank. Now I'm going to show you an asset that we would like to track in today's demo. So this is a label maker. So these are representative of typical office devices people may want to track. So um, now I have this label maker here. So it could be in any room, you, want, you might want to track it any point of time. So here is the hardware device that we are going to use to track this. So this is a prototype device that we developed and uh, it runs our custom uh, software and I'm going to put this battery and the moment I put this battery this device is going to show up on the screen you can watch out for that yes so as you can see here each of these uh, devices have a serial number so you can see the tag number as 60380 that's the same tag number that you will see on the hardware device here in my hand so this is how you know this is the device that's showing up there. Now I'm going to take this. Uh, I'm going to take this um, hardware device and stick it into this label maker. And then I'm going to leave it. Leave the label maker in room four. Now you'll see on my screen that it's showing room four as a location of the label maker by the way I didn't uh, rename it yet so I'm gonna since it's gonna be a label maker I'm gonna uh, mark this tag as label maker so I don't have to remember that number anymore now I'm gonna bring this label maker from room 4 somebody's gonna take it to room 6 here. now it's closer to room 6 and there you go when you see on my screen you will see that the label maker is now in room 6 now I'm going to bring it back to room 4. You will see that it instantly changes back on my screen as well. So this is label maker. I'm bringing it back to room 4 on my right. So it's closer to room 4 now. And on my screen you will see that it's also updated. Now I'm going to pretend that this label maker is not in either of the rooms. So I'm going to remove the battery to pretend that it has gone to some other place. Which means it's not sending the beacon anymore based on Bluetooth. Now we can watch the screen what happens. Yes, so as you can see the color of the room changes to red because that's where the beacon uh, was last received from. As you can see the timestamp doesn't change anymore. That means this label maker was found in room 6 at 6.43.57 and after that it didn't receive any uh, 
notifications from that label maker device. Now I'm going to put the battery back on this and then stick it to the label maker. Now you can see that the room number is updated correctly based on its current location and you can see that the timestamp is reflecting now is at 644.56 at this particular room. So this is how we track uh, devices. I'm going to show you how we track one more device. So there's another beacon here. Um, it's serial number is 668 ending in 668. I'm going to put the battery and you will see that this new beacon is now showing up as in room 6. Now I'm going to uh, attach it to another important asset that we want to track today which is a maple syrup it's pretty tasty so it can get stolen so uh, we do want to track it so I'm going to put this uh, new tag onto this and I'm going to leave the maple syrup in room 6 and as you can see here from my screen uh, this uh, new tag is in room 6 I'm going to rename it as maple syrup and then this is how you track your assets now the label maker is in room 4 and maple syrup is in room 6 now I'm going to swap them just so that you can see both of them are in the same place reflected now you will see both of them are in the same place room 6 now I'm going to take the maple syrup and move it to room 4 and now you can see that they are swapped now so like this you can track uh, many uh, devices and uh, in addition I'd like to show a quick preview of another uh, important uh, feature we have which is to track uh, high value assets like laptops using a software program. So I have this uh, program called a software tracker. I'm going to turn it on and then uh, you will see that there's a new tag that comes up and because this particular uh, so I'm going to mark it as Jay's laptop and because this particular uh, technology doesn't use Bluetooth it uses the IP address based detection so it shows a zip code of the place where the particular asset is the reason why this is important is you can track the maple syrup and label maker as long as they are within the reach of a Bluetooth gateway that's in the office what if somebody took it to a home then you wouldn't ab be able to find it right so whereas for high computing, uh, high, high value assets like laptops which are computing devices, you can also use a software based technology by running a program on the computer that always runs as long as the computer is on and is connected to the internet, you will receive its last location. So this is a zip code where we are now and you can track things using that. So that's a short uh, overview of the demo. We would like to show this demo in person to you whenever we come over there. Thank you very much. Bye.